hello guys and welcome in this video i'm going to show you how you can fix pycharm program not recognizing installed modules so you have your you installed your modules using pip in command line and when you open your pycharm program and you try to import some modules pycharm can't 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 see those modules like it's throwing an import error so for example i have right here a small program and I, I import some three modules but when I try to run this script it throws uh, like no module named request for that that is the first module we are trying to import and request is like installed in my Python on my computer because when I try to run when I open IDO Python's console and I try to import requests. So you see, it's it's in it's an installed module on the computer. So let me show you how you can fix it in your PyCharm program. So first of all, you are going to go to File, and then you go to Settings. So on your left side, you will see options. So you are going to to go to Project. You are going to select the project option and then you go to project interpreter from there you're going to see this option of project interpreter and the and the you are the file url the file path so you are going to select the you're going to go to it and then click on the drop down you are going to see three options no interpreter then the interpreter for the virtual environment and then the global python interpreter so you're going to select the last option which which has the path file for the installation folder of your python program so you will see that it, the when you look at this path file it is where i installed my python program so you are going to select it and when you select it you're going to see that the available packages for that interpreter are all displayed right there down so you see that now all the so this is the global python interpreter for the computer the one i installed on the computer so if you don't see this option sometimes it might not appear and you'll be only having no interpreter or this second option for the virtual environment and no interpreter if this option is not there what you will do is you're going to click on this icon for like settings and then go to add so you'll you're going to select uh, this existing environment and then interpreter you are going to go to this option of the three dots like select a python interpreter so you will you go to where your where you installed your python program so in my case i installed it by default it installs in local disk c then program files no not program files uh, use users so c users and then your username your pc username and app data mm, so app data by default it's it's a hidden folder so you will select this option right here show hidden files and directories so when you click on it all the hidden files and folders are displayed so right here now updata is displayed so you go to it go to select local and then programs go to programs and in programs you you go to select python and in when you're in python so you'll see this option python.exe so when you select it so it will and then you apply that if the interpreter is not already selected so you click on it and then it will come up right here on the top so when you select it you click on apply and then okay so you see that now there are no errors popping up for the for the for the request as initially they were displayed red red lines so when i try to run the program again it runs very well without throwing the import error so if you want to by default make it your 
default interpreter what you'll do you'll go back to file and then select settings for new projects like your next new projects will be by default having this interpreter so go to settings for new projects and then you select this uh, you go to the drop down and select this option right here python.exe so when you select it they display all the available packages like select it and then click ok so all your next new projects by default they'll have that python global python interpreter selected so that's it guys thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video if you like the video and also subscribe for more videos cheers